and welcome to the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sure you're keen to get into that hot seat, so let's get started. <laughs> OK, let's take a quick check on the rules. Up to four of you can play the game, and each of you will need to choose adult or junior questions. Then, for the first time ever, you'll be able to choose the type of questions you'd like to answer. There are three categories. General knowledge, entertainment and sport. Simply choose one and stick with it. All you need to do then is answer the 15 questions that stand between you and a virtual one million pounds. As always, you can walk away at any time and there are the usual three lifelines available to you. Ask the audience, 50-50 and phone a friend. If you make it all the way to a million, you could be jetting off on a luxurious family holiday by entering our competition. So grab your remote control and let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. So, you want to answer the traditional general knowledge questions. Good choice. Let's see how far up the money tree you can go, starting with five questions to get you up to £1,000. Let's kick things off with a £100 question. Well done, you've won £100. A nice easy question for £200. Well done, you just won £200. Now, you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this £300 question. Well done, you've won £300. Let's get you up to £500 with question number four. Very well played. That's the right answer. You can guarantee yourself £1,000 if you can answer this question. OK, you want to ask the audience for a bit of help. Audience, I hope you know the answer to this one. Serious business. Grab your keypads and all vote now. As audience help goes, I said that, that was pretty good. Now, are you going to go for C? That's correct. You've made it to the £1,000 mark. Well done. £1,000 safely in the bank. But I don't want to give you that just yet. Take a look at the next question. It's worth £2,000. Take your time. You can still use your 50-50 or phone a friend if you don't know the answer. Right then, going 50-50 should help. The computer will take away two of the answers, leaving you with the correct answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Well, you'll be pleased you went 50-50. It's helped you win £2,000. OK, a chance to double that £2,000 to £4,000 now with question number seven. The very best of luck. Here it comes. Well, I don't blame you for using a lifeline if you're not sure. Pick one of your friends and we'll give them a call. don't really know the answer to this one. Uh, I'm going to guess at A, but I don't know if it's right. Too convinced by your friend there. They suggested it might be A. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. 
Very well done. That's the right answer. You've just won £4,000. Well done. £4,000 safely in the bank. You're now starting to play for some decent amounts of money. Now, you can double your money again, this time to £8,000, if you can answer question number eight correctly. The very best of luck. Here it comes. Very well done. That's the right answer, and it's worth £8,000. OK, things are getting a little bit more serious now. £16,000 is a lot of money. And that's how much you can win by giving me the right answer to question number nine. The drop, if you get this wrong, though, has gone up to 7000 So think carefully before you give me an answer. OK, that is your final answer. And it's the right answer. You just won £16,000. Right, this is a very serious moment. You have £16,000. If you do get the next question right, you'll definitely be leaving with no less than £32,000. Give me a wrong answer, though, and you have to take a drop of 15000 Not good. I really do wish you the very best of luck. Here comes question number 10. OK, I won't keep you in suspense. It's the right answer. You just won £32,000. You can breathe a sigh of relief now. You will not be leaving with anything less than £32,000. And you might as well play the next question, as you now have nothing to lose. Get this right, and I'll be giving you £64,000. Have a look. Here it comes. You had £32,000. You had nothing to lose going for this question. As it turns out, you had everything to gain. It's the right answer. You just won £64,000. Right, the prize increases really kick in now. The next question is worth £125,000. And believe it or not, you are only four correct answers away from winning one million. You will lose £32,000 if you give me a wrong answer and you've used up all three of your lifelines. Once you've said this is your final answer, you know there is no going back. Are you sure? It's not often people get to play this question. You could be about to lose £32,000. Of course, you could be about to win £125,000. And you have. It's the right answer. Very well played. You could be about to lose £93,000 if you give me the wrong answer to this question. If you give me a correct answer, you'll win a quarter of a million pounds. Now, I would much rather that happen. The very best of luck to you. Let's have a look at question number 13 of a possible 15. You're playing for very big money here, so is that your final answer? Right, this is serious business. You've just decided to play on a question for a quarter of a million pounds. I can tell you. It's the right answer. You are a quarter of a millionaire. Wow, this is a superb performance. I've just written you out a virtual cheque for £250,000. Now, hopefully, you can go further. I'm about to ask you a question worth half a million pounds. 500000 Remember, you have used up all your lifelines, so it would be a serious risk to just guess at this stage, as you would lose £218,000. Have a look at the question. It's number 14 
of a possible 15. I must say, I love it when people play these big questions. You had £250,000. You now have... £500,000. Fantastic! Right, here we go, then. This is your one and perhaps only ever chance to win £1 million. Pounds. You have no lifelines left, so you are either going to have to make a complete guess or, of course, you may well just know the answer. I should remind you of the massive amount of money you could lose, but think of what you could win. The best of luck. Everybody here is rooting for you. Which of these is not a type of cloud? Stratus, Cumulus, Cirrus, Pluvius. And I have to check that you are really going to play this question. Is this your final answer? Amazingly, you have decided to play the million pound question. Now, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead, you are walking away with one million pounds. <laughs> You're a winner, fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, you've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all expensive paid family holiday. Just text the winning code to the number on your screen. Very well done, and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?